Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. When people ask me, like, why I don't go on dates or why I'm not dating anybody, it's honestly simple and it's because I hate this generation. I live in a generation of, or an era of Netflix and chill, which is considered a date. I live in a generation where people consider dating someone as talking. I live in a generation where courting seems to be extinct. I live in an era of not wanting a title, but still wanting relationship benefits. And that's just not going to work with me. So I prefer to continue to live this peaceful life that I have found and made for myself than to be put in these not so great circumstances. Yeah, pretty sad, isn't it? I live in a generation of baddie, OF girls, glorified promiscuity, SE, actual liberation, hookup culture, the rotational dating, mandatory having a roster, being yelled at for trying to talk to you, being yelled at for opening the door for you. And yeah, it is pretty sad. But now that we know the problem, what's the solution? I can easily walk away. I don't have a biological clock ticking. You, on the other hand, maybe find the ideas that are being pushed on younger generations. I can say for sure that it's too late for you at 37 years old, but at least help others not to be in your shoes. Alright, let me read this text that she's about to respond to. I see why I don't F with females from dating sites. You too rich, in quotes, for me anyways. Sh sh shoddy, delete my number. Hope you and your Porsche find someone fitting for you. Goodbye. I don't know how to take this. But what I do know is that in my 33 years of being on this earth, I've never, ever heard, not once, of a woman telling a man he makes too much money and to go right off in his Porsche to go find what he's looking for. It just almost sometimes seems like we can't win. If we don't make enough money but want to be taken out on dates and expect to be treated a certain type of way, we're broke looking for a come up or a handout. And then we're also made to feel bad if we do make money and we're independent and successful and like nice things. Make it make sense. Disclaimer, this is not a text to me. This is a text that my friend sent me from someone that sent this to her. Ah, uh, no. I was just about to ask what color is your Porsche, but now I can't. But sure, let me try to make it make sense. No one cares about your money, but instead everyone cares about your attitude, your character, and your personality. There are millions of women that never had a Porsche, never got into a Porsche, and what they did was building a life with their partner. Just because they didn't have money, didn't expect a handout from their partner. There are also a lot of women that got into a Porsche, even though just in the passenger seat, and they suddenly felt like they're better than anyone anyone else. I could go on for at least half an hour more explaining to you the difference, but I really doubt you're gonna make sense of what I'm saying. Cause in the end, everything you don't agree with is fragile ego. This is what you named your video, right? Like, no one cares. You don't get an award cause you watch less TV. Okay, so what was that again about the fragile ego? Katie left that comment saying that's too much filler. And yeah, your lips do look like the doctor was drunk and something went terribly wrong. And it was not because of your fragile ego that you made that video, right? No one cares? Well, it seems you do. You made the video. Hey, everybody. I'm Michelle. I kind of started going through a breakup as of last night. It's official today. I initiated it after multiple years. Two years? I'm not getting what I wanted. And I'm just going to tell you something. I mean, I'm here making a margarita in the afternoon and I'm about to clean my place um, and I'm low key spiraling, but you know what this whole thing has taught me is that my standards, my boundaries, the things that I need aren't negotiable. Here's what I mean. Are you ready? I made a list. I made a list of all the things I will never tolerate from a man ever again, period, the end, end of discussion because it has taken two years of my life to get to this point. Are we ready? Let's go. If he has to choose between making me happy or someone else happy and he chooses making that person happy instead and hurts me, it's a no. If my partner runs out during a disagreement, it's a no. If my partner refuses to talk things through, it's a no. If my partner doesn't take responsibility for his actions, it's a no. If my partner tries to distort my view of reality, tell me I'm crazy, gaslight me, say things that didn't happen the way that I remember they happened, then it's a no. If my partner plays games or power moves or tries to like make me feel uncomfortable or jealous for any reason, it's a no. 
If you guys are frequently talking about long-term goals, plans, or vision for the future, whether that's marriage, long-term partnership, or whatever, and he's not acting on it either, it's a no. If a man hasn't gone to therapy, it's a no. All right, that's enough. I had to end the video because she goes on forever. I also had to speed up the video because she really loves the sound of her own voice. I don't even care what else was on your list. I don't even care if there are valid points on that list. As soon as you tell me to go to therapy, I'm done. You assume straight from the beginning that there's something wrong with me that I should be fixing, I'm done. I really don't care how important you think you are to enforce that on men, but we really don't care all that much about you or your list. As far as I'm concerned, you and your list can be alone together. In case you missed it, my video on the standards and boundaries and things I will no longer accept from men in my dating life went viral, like big time viral. Feel free to check it out. But what's so interesting is the amount of men that were purely triggered by it. They said things like, good luck living alone for the rest of your life, enjoy your five cats. And I was like, wow, only five? And what I realized from this, ladies, is there were a lot of men who also commented who said positive things and said, yes, this is a great list. And my point was that being, if a man has a problem with standards and boundaries that you set in your relationship uh, or with them, they never intended to respect you in the first place and that's why they have a problem with those boundaries. The good guys will love that you have boundaries and respect yourself and those are the ones that you wanna hang on to. Also, there were a lot of men who got very, very triggered um, by the fact that I was making a margarita in the video. They thought that by me making a margarita in the video, it discounted my whole point. Very clever deflecting technique, kind of like a little manipulative, don't you think? Second video says POV, your boundaries trigger men. And so many men were triggered. Obviously that statement made me look through her comments for 3-4 minutes or at least until I lost interest. And what a surprise, that was a lie. No man was triggered. 95% of her comments were women applauding her. The rest of the 5% were men applauding her. And the small part were saying, you said therapy, I'm done. No one is triggered, no one cares about your boundaries. But when you lie about it, you, your boundaries and your list become irrelevant. And I can't say no one will take you seriously, but I will not take you seriously. In fact, I'm gonna look at you funny, laugh, and keep scrolling. Oh, and by the way, your video didn't went all that viral big time. You had 100,000 views. For a TikTok video, that's nothing. I can understand it's big time for you because on the other videos you get a thousand views, but it's still not going viral big time. You're still irrelevant and men are still not triggered. Especially since we know that whenever you're lying just to create content, you'll become more irrelevant even faster. Oh, righty then. Reasons why I can't find a boyfriend. Because I'm an IG model, okay? Because I'm busy making content all the time. Because more than a million men follow me on Instagram. Yeah, the IG model part will do it for me. Or maybe this will do it for me. The fact that you call yourself a baddie, yeah, that pretty much does it for me. What do you think? You being a baddie got you to be the Latina mommy? Yeah, probably it did. I don't even have to check your IG to see if there's a link going to an OF account. Because I have the answer why we can't find a boyfriend right here. Anyway, let's get to the really good part. <laughs> you cannot make this up. Her type is white, black, Asian, Latino guys and virgins. The baddie wants herself a virgin. Maybe the previous cuckoo was right, cause only me going to therapy will give me a slight chance to understand this lunatic here. This is the most powerful universal truth that if people actually understood what it meant, we would be living a completely different world. You want to know what it is? Thoughts become things. And if you know, you know. And if I don't, I don't. And I really don't. Spoiler alert, she's manifesting things. And me, I must have manifested something really bad in a previous life. Because all I get is OF girls, oh no, wait, my bad, IG models, or cuckoos manifesting things. So what you're saying is that if we have the freedom of speech, we should shut the f*** up. No, what he's saying is exactly what he wrote, and I'll read it out loud. The simple fact that you can project all your hate publicly on men shows that you are not oppressed. He never told you to shut up. You read that between the lines, and I can read this between the lines. He said, stop pretending to be a victim. You're not. You might be trapped in this victim mentality, but it doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it real. It only makes you a brainwashed lunatic who can't think for herself. Now I wonder if the IG baddie from earlier feels oppressed with more than 1 million male followers. Probably she will when she reaches 40. Single people of TikTok, where are we meeting people in 2023? 
because I'm day two back on the dating apps and I hate it here. Um, so where are we meeting people? On TikTok. All of you single people on TikTok can meet each other and leave the rest of us alone. When I say pay attention to the type of women a man has dated before you, I genuinely mean it. And let me tell you why. If a man has dated women before you that are not bad, not getting money, not having their way, flat out, he's A, he's just not going to know what to do with you. And he's B, going to be used to dealing with the type of women who are just happy to be there, happy to sit down, happy to shut up, happy to accept the bare minimum because they really can't do nothing. They don't even realize that as a woman, you are always surprised. They're just happy to be in this man's presence. They feel lucky. It's hard being a man's first bad B. Because he really just don't know what to do with you. He won't know what to do with you. Oh, but see, this is where you're wrong. I know exactly what to do with you. I might need to wear two durexes as protection, but I do know exactly what to do with you. I have to admit, though, I had the wrong idea about what it means to be a baddie. Apparently, being a baddie means eating alone in your car. Why would I be embarrassed? <laughs> Guess who's back? So many questions, so little time. So I'll stick with just one. Back to the streets, but back from where? Back from the clinic? Orange is the new black and antibiotics are the new crack, I guess. So my car is making a noise. Sure, the car is making a noise, you're just not hearing a noise? No, it's making a noise. And you as a man, I think it's your job to go and fix it for me. I just fix the noise? I don't have a man in my life. And it's okay. You probably never will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they're just friends or there's something more between them. I don't know their friends though, but that guy is vicious. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.